Hello and welcome to the Slingshot channel. Well, first I want to say thank you. Thank you for buying so many pocket shetties for me. This is my personal one, well used. <laughs> well, we had a contingency for uh, Germany and that was four and a half thousand out of the five thousand pieces and they were all gone within 72 hours. I think we have still some left in the US and UK store, but not many. <laughs> and now in Germany it's already offered for I, I saw prices for over a thousand euros. No idea if they are sold. And anyway, we sold we sold knives worth more than a million euro within 72 hours, and I'm deeply grateful for this biggest success in my short career as a knife designer. <laughs> so thank you. <laughs> now, of course, I immediately started to think about what will be the next one, since my typical development time is like 18 months. Uh, when I start working on wooden mock-ups until there is something in the store. It's actually physically available. So this time I was looking at rescue tools. And I was really not happy with the rescue tools that you found. So I wanted to do something that can be used as a glass breaker. And it's also something that you can use to just like, you know, smash things and hack through things and, and maybe even defend yourself in an emergency. So I was thinking about a folding claw hammer and I started with this. Yeah, of course, it's a complete wooden mock-up and you can open it and then you can see that there is a claw and there is a, a heavy weight that you can use as a hammer. But I was really not happy with this. It was kind of, you know, this was too short. The whole thing was not big enough. It was just looking too harmless. So I went to the next iteration. Next iteration is painted actually. And as you see, it is larger and it has a longer spike and it also has a bigger weight here on this end. And when I, when I showed it, a lot of people said, yeah, but you know, if you use it as a hammer, it's not really practical. So what are you going to do with this? So, and I was kind of in agreement. So this was not it yet. And then I thought maybe, maybe I need to make it looking more like a, like an emergency hammer that you would find like a glass breaker hammer that you would find like in German buses. You know, so uh, so I started to uh, change my design line a bit. See what I did in the next generation. Next generation was this. As you see, it looks a lot more like a typical hammer in a bus. A little bigger, but not much. So these are, of course, is wood, but they're supposed to be like titanium glass breakers. So you can smash it and you can also open it. And you see the whole thing opens. And then you got this mean hook and still you got an end of an hammer here. And then some people said, you know what, a lot of the glass in cars these days are laminated and therefore it was very hard to get out. Therefore, like fire workers now have like glass saws that you can use to saw through a like a broken uh, a window or a front window of a side window of a car. So I thought, well, this would be easy to turn this into a saw. It's really not necessary to have this sharp. I mean, this must be sharp, but this not really. So, but then this would of course be in the way, which brought me to my last iteration that I'm really absolutely pleased with. This one. Now it looks almost similar to the other one, but it has a few important differences. So if I open this, okay, you see that's a functional lock. <laughs> see? Clack! <laughs> and if you open this, you can see that this is, of course, it's wood, but this is supposed to be a glass saw. And also the handle is different now. Now this is like a T-bar handle that you can use to just hack through. So you can just smash the window, put this thing in, and then go really strong, like sawing motion like this. You got total control about this. But you can also hack like this. This gives you an enormous amount of leverage, even though in folded condition, this thing is really small and, and also pocketable. And in this way, you can still, of course, use it to smash ordinary glass, because there's still a glass breaker here. And this glass breaker, actually, the tip is, the uh, the rear end of the of the hammer here and i will also incorporate a a, a belt cutter i haven't done this here because it's wood it's not solid enough but there will simply be a slot here that gives you access to the cutting edge of the hook here so that you can use it to cut through a seat belt or something yeah and uh, i think i think i actually will ask broker to put this in production because i believe it's really cool of course if it comes for me, it will be super, super, super uh, great quality. This means that I want the best steel and I want it to be really heavy. I want it to be like same heaviness like the pocket Chetty and the same lock system, everything, so that this will have a lot of heft. And also this blade here will be four millimeters thick and very, very strong. 
since a rescue tool needs to be totally reliable. What do you think about it? Is this the way to go or do you think it's stupid and I should discard it? Let me know in the comments. Thanks. <laughs>